In machine learning, if the data is being fetched quickly, then it is the programmer who is behind it. It is he who has chosen an appropriate data structure for it. For instance, if your Facebook feed is taking too long to update, I think you would definitely not feel like using that app. Hence, it is very important for the programmers to write optimized code that loads within microseconds. Hello everyone, my name is Shaurya Gupta and in this video I'll discuss why are data structures and algorithms important. So data structures and algorithms is one of the foundational subjects in computer science. Essentially it includes concepts such as stacks, graphs, algorithms analysis, sorting algorithms, linked lists. While it is true that data structures and algorithms are difficult to master, yet it is not impossible. So in this video, I'll answer why you should study data structures and algorithms. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it and subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel for more such content. So the first reason is data structures and algorithms help in cracking interviews. All company recruitment drives try to test the problem solving skills of the candidate. This is essential because the problems that such companies come across daily are quite huge and complex and they want to hire people who will be able to solve these tasks within minimal time and with the least number of resources. So sound knowledge of data structures and algorithms is a clear indicator of the person's ability in solving complex problems in minimal time. Hence such companies hire people who are good in data structures and algorithms. The first level of any company, that is the online round, the online test round, it consists of questions revolving around various data structures, right? And even in the startups, along with app and web development, DSA is extremely important. The startups initially check for basic problem solving skills, then move on to development skills, along with data structures and algorithms, and then design and testing. If the data structures and algorithms base that we always call as DSA is strong, then cracking or switching companies for better opportunities becomes easier for you. You can simply apply for the role, practice, revise the concepts within 15 days and appear for the interview because no matter what domain you've been working for or how many years of experience you hold, DSA skills are always going to be tested. Second reason is learning data structures and algorithms helps you in writing optimized code. Writing optimized code is extremely useful while you are developing solutions to the real world problems. It is very critical for companies to hire people who can write the most optimized code as it helps in limiting the use of resources that the company has. So you should get in the habit of writing the most optimized solution in the terms of time and space. Choose the data structure that is best fit and requires the least space and the algorithm that executes in the code in the least time. And this habit of writing the optimized code will come to you naturally when you'll practice data structures and algorithms. Third reason is designing algorithms. The most important work in the industry revolves around developing algorithms. It is important to develop algorithms in the most optimized way possible as we discussed, which can only be achieved by someone who has sound knowledge of all the major data structures and algorithms. For instance, the job sequencing problem. It can be solved by various means such as brute force method, greedy method or dynamic programming. But we need to pick the most optimized algorithm. In the job sequencing problem, the main objective is to find the sequence of jobs which are completed within their deadlines and return a maximum profit. For example, a simple solution is to generate all the subsets of the given set of jobs and check the individual subsets for feasibility of the jobs in that subset. Keep the track of maximum profit among all the feasible subsets, although this approach will give the correct solution but with a greater time complexity. You can further optimize this code using a greedy algorithm. Now fourth reason is learning advanced skills. One can grasp a good hold on development skills like web development, app development and machine learning only when the basics are clear. 
it is necessary to know the back end details of every technology every code and function for instance if your facebook feed is taking too long to update i think you would definitely not feel like using that app hence it is very important for the programmers to write optimized code that loads within microseconds in machine learning if the data is being fetched quickly then it is the programmer who is behind it it is he who has chosen an appropriate data structure for it now for those of you who wish to code and practice data structures and algorithms you can go on to code studio platform by coding ninjas where you can practice thousands of problems for free and also learn from free guided paths on data structures and algorithms and their related topics so to summarize this video it is relatively very easy to learn new programming languages while you are using them in projects however it is not the case with dsa as it needs extensive practice and holds at most importance if you are not well versed with dsa you will find it challenging to optimize the code solution for a problem the extensive use of dsa have made it crucial for the budding programmers to start learning it it is also important for the employees already working in dsa to upskill themselves to keep a beam of the advancements in it